love my country music in LA but I'm not gonna be in LA for long because I'm taking off to San Francisco in three hours I have three hours to pack to eat to pack some food I don't think I'm actually gonna pack food um, at the Gymshark tour <clears throat> so by the time you guys see this actually no there's uh, we're meeting at Pier 39 in San Francisco Saturday so you guys will still have a day before when I post this that you'll be able to see it. And then we're meeting um, in, go to my Instagram, I posted a picture and, and shot, and shot a, or take a screenshot and you'll see where we're at. I gotta go because I'm driving and I don't want to be that guy who vlogs and drives. Unless I do this. Nope, still don't want to do it, bye. Quick little cardio session because got a photo shoot in three weeks and need to stay on that game so here at Gold's Gym I'm gonna do this cardio this morning low impact steady state cardio because my body's been hammered this week legs cardio swimming it's been good but uh, definitely a low impact day tomorrow we'll bump it up do some hit all right like always I don't even know why I'm talking to you guys I'm in such a rush it's 8 10 I need to be at the airport by nine. I still gotta do some packing. Um, got just the check-in duffel. I'm only there for two and a half days. Shouldn't need, I'm chronic overpacker though. I'm not gonna pack any meals, so we're gonna try to do that healthy. Still need to eat breakfast. Woosa, and go. That was miserable. Now we are in the Uber leaving beautiful Playa Vista. I'm kind of excited to head to San Francisco. I haven't been there in probably three or four years. Excited to meet all those people up there. Chandler's going to Seattle, but I'm gonna be still putting out this vlog tomorrow. Even though I'm on the road, we're gonna be doing it. We're gonna get it done. Monday through Friday videos. Thumbs it way up for that, guys. We're gonna keep these going. Appreciate it. That was difficult. Damn. Whew. That ain't no joke. I'm on cardio for the day. I am legitimately tired. But when you're in a hurry and you park at the arrivals, you gotta run up the escalator that's coming down. I always love vlogging in airports too. People give you the weirdest looks. Oh, my favorite thing is, because I'm TSA pre, to walk through and say, it's okay. Hi. Have fun. Where are you going? I'm going to the lounge. Yeah. Lounge time. That means I, I, I'm having a hard boiled egg. You want me to bring you one? I'll bring you one hard boiled egg. Okay. So I call Bowers, and we're in the lounge. Alright, have you guys been to the club before? Thank you very much. Time to eat the sriracha egg. I love it. And now we are off on the plane, heading to San Francisco with the Gymshark crew. So I'm really looking forward. It's an amazing team that we have with Gymshark. 51 minutes from LA to San Fran. I'll be reading this. Our flight was supposed to depart at 10 a.m. It is now 11.13. Trying to find some silver lining in this. Um, only good news is I guess I won't have to wait to check into my hotel and there's more time for reading. Also glad I got this bed boy, this thing Ken Bar. Optimal Nutrition has actually came out with protein bars. They're releasing at the Olympia. I haven't tried them yet. I heard they're phenomenal. Until then, I'm not to have that to hold me over. So it's all good. I'm gonna read my book. We're gonna get to San Francisco eventually. We're gonna check into the hotel. We're gonna get a workout in and today's gonna be great. Usually when I 
get off the plane like this and I'm vlogging it's because I'm at my destination. Nope. I sat on the plane for two hours and now the plane. So stayed on the tarmac here in LA for two hours. Now I'm back at LAX while they try to fix the plane. Bless their hearts. I'm starving. Gotta figure out how I'm gonna get to San Francisco because I wanna see you guys. Stay caffeinated. So, never get to read as much as I want. Now I'm on the phone right now on hold, um, adding my sister on, who's also my assistant, to do things like banking, insurance, car insurance, health insurance. While I do that, I'm also logging on to comment on my newest YouTube video that just dropped, the one about clothing. Nope, I'm still on hold, I was worried. So yep, YouTube video, up today, commenting on them. As soon as they go live, I usually comment. So if you wanna get in and ask me a question, comment early, I hit you back. Make sure you guys subscribe if you're not. Just go subscribe right there. Oh, hello, reply. <laughs> we'll reply to all these right now. 100%. What a day. Finally made it to San Francisco. I love San Francisco. I've only been here probably two other, three other times before. I watched the Warriors game here once way back before they were amazing. Back when they had Byron Davis. They were still good. They were fun to watch. I think I watched them the first time they made the playoffs in years. Um, but it's been a long day long day and I got to the airport this morning in LA mind you it's only a 50 minute flight from Los Angeles to San Francisco got to the airport at um, 9 30 no I got to the airport at 9 this morning my flight was supposed to take off at 10 it is now 5 o'clock here in San Francisco 4 50 that is a long day for a 50 minute flight but I'm excited nonetheless and guess what nothing is gonna stop me from enjoying the San Francisco Gymshark meetup First things first though, I need to get checked into the hotel. I need to take a little bit of pre-workout or a nap, preferably pre-workout because I don't like to nap after five o'clock. It means you can't sleep as well at night. Um, and then I'm gonna go kick some ass in the gym. I'm gonna do probably biceps. Um, today is actually my day off with a big program. It's, it calls for cardio, so I'm gonna definitely do cardio, maybe abs and maybe biceps because I did not do biceps earlier in this week. So. San Francisco, <sighs> you're beautiful. You kind of remind me of Auckland, New Zealand. A bigger Auckland, New Zealand, but it just kind of looks like Auckland. Looks a little bit like like Sydney, Australia. I'm excited. When you get out of your Uber and the first thing you see is a Panthers jersey. Panthers, go Bronco. Although I do like the guy, Luke Cookley. Luke Cookley, I think that's how you say it. I do like him for the Panthers. Just getting into my room. Not a bad little view here. San Francisco is a great city. Yeah. What we always do though, gotta get it in. Okay, Just start your vacation off right. Drop down, push ups in the room. Even though I'm not on vacation, this is the best way. It's kinda like, oh, it's gonna, it's gonna be an active trip when you do push ups at the beginning. Come on. Ten oh nine here in San Francisco. Just jamming out here to some sweet tunes. I'm on my way to the gym. Today is my day off. I'm on the big program. Like I said, I might hit some biceps. More importantly, I do have cardio still. So I like doing cardio, even if like I wasn't trying to get lean. I still like doing cardio, but. I'm also trying to get lean, so cardio is a necessity. Um, tonight, I'm gonna do a little combination of lists. Not bad. For a hotel, that's a lot of empty treadmills. I got the place to myself tonight. We're gonna do uh, some cardio, some abs, wake up early tomorrow morning, and then hit the rest of the big program. Not bad in here, I could work with this. All right guys, here is the big program. And again, this isn't, this, when we say big, it's not necessarily for gaining size. It could be for getting leaner. We offer four different diet plans. But this is my workout for the day. 
you get a video. You can watch the YouTube video demonstrating how you do the exercise. You put in your weight, cardio today, 50 minutes. Uh, we'll show you tomorrow's workout. These designate a super set or a giant set. And again, each thing has a video on there. How easy is that? Freaking money, this thing's amazing. So Thursday, even though it's late, I'm gonna do this, abs, and then 50 minutes cardio. Let's do it. So for tonight's, tonight's cardio, like I said, we got 50 minutes. So I will be watching Narcos, and also yesterday's vlog, commenting back to people, as well as getting on Twitter, trying to do some multitasking. Um, get 50 minutes, gonna walk for about 20 of them, and then I'm gonna run for about 30 of them. Um, trying to just keep my heart rate around 140 average for the whole thing. You can do that any way you want. Still gotta do my stretching via Ramwad, and then I didn't do any meditating today, so I probably should, but I'll probably just wake up early in the morning and do that. I always like meditating earlier on, and I also have abs. So I got like an hour and a half here of work. Luckily though, um, today is my off day in terms of I didn't have weights. So this amount of time, it's no big deal. It's late, but you just gotta get shit done. It's like, you know, it's 10. I wanted to watch the football game. I was tired from traveling. Um, I had some work to get done too, but guess what? You gotta get it done. Empty in here, that's the way I like it. I like knowing that I'm working. And no one else in here, at least, is. Are you? 11.15, I'm done, I'm spent. Nothing was gonna stop me from getting in here tonight. I have an eight hour flight, when I could have driven it in three and a half. Sometimes you just gotta do what it is that you set out to do. And there's gonna be those obstacles, but guess, guess what, guys? There's, there's have and have nots. There's shoulda, coulda, wouldas, and the people that do what it is that they wanna do. So, every day I, I you know, when I cross my mind about like, do I wanna do this or do I not wanna do it? Like, it, it really reminds me of, you know, I can either live my dream or someone else's, and I feel like empty gyms, I just, I smile when I get into an empty gym, because I know, I know, you know, it wasn't always like that. When I first got into this fitness scene, expos and things like that, I was more concerned about partying and this and that, but I learned real quick, it's not what I wanted to be about. So, I now spend the nights when people might be out in the gym, making sure I'm perfecting my craft, doing what I do that, that makes me feel like I'm progressing, so. Whatever it is that you guys are doing, whether it's school, whatever it is out there, know that they're, you know, if you do what you love, you know, and you're working hard at it, and you're the best at what you do, there's always gonna be a job for you. So, you gotta stay hungry. Not always easy. It's not easy, but I guess, guess what? If I would've gone to bed tonight or gone out, I woke up the next morning, there would've been just like this, this itch in the back of my head that, it would have been a chip on my shoulder all day that you know I, I, I didn't do what I was supposed to the day before so now I can at least sleep oh, all right Gymshark day one San Francisco time to go to bed I'm tired as hell this is a look at my post-workout nutrition an apple and a protein bar and some water my nutrition today has been crap before this I had some beef jerky and pistachios. Before that, I had some corn nuts and a little chicken curry from the, the lounge here. Before that, I had a chicken quinoa salad. And before that, I had a protein bar. Not what I call a good meal day, but I guess it's better than having donuts. I've done that too. Not a good idea. Tomorrow, we will eat better. We will see sights. We will wake up. Training. Tomorrow's an awesome upper body day with the big stuff, so it's gonna be a good night. And we'll see the Gymshark crew.